<laughs> Robin. All right, here you go, Aunt. I like this story a lot. It was in uh, the Daily News today. <laughs> Doc busted impatient sex rap. Pretty much every day there's one of these in the paper. Guys that just can't control themselves. A Manhattan plastic surgeon has been busted for molesting a patient who asked him to remove a scar from her lip. So this lady goes in, she's got a scar on her lip, the yeah. plastic surgeon's looking at the scar, sure. right? Okay. The woman, the woman told cops Smith was examining her lip when he suddenly lifted her sweater and began fondling her breasts. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> What's his name? Dr. Smith. You will be molested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I didn't even make that. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> yes, come to Dr. Smith. I feel your boobies. I can't take it anymore. She must have had a really nice set. Yeah. Because it wasn't even like a gynecologist or, you know what a I mean? A dentist. She's out under anesthesia and you sneak a little feel. <laughs> right. This guy's just she's talking about a lip. There's no way you can make a mistake. You can't. There's no connection between the lip and her boobs no. in any way, but the guy just lost his mind. Just miss, I do see this scar. We could take care of this with some minor. I gotta feel those tits. <laughs> right. He just lost his mind right there. Just I gotta touch those. Just starts tuning in Tokyo. Yeah. <laughs> those are great tits to make you Toss out eight years of medical school. That's it. <laughs> they must, gotta feel him. They must have been a great set. And he's probably in his head like, I gotta fix her lip. How could I touch her tits, though? <laughs> and, and explain to her that it's because of the lip. You know, there's a nerve connection between the lip and the breast area. I must check this out. My eye. <laughs> <laughs> Please look at that lip. Come here closer. Closer, my dear. Yes. Well, that looks like a simple operation that could be fixed with... Hey, oh, I must grab your titties! Tweak those nipples! Oh! Your bosoms are as smooth as young William's bottom. Yes, but William's bottom doesn't have those pesky nipples in the way. Those are such a turn-off. <laughs> Just hold your bosoms together. Cover your nipples and speak like a young boy. Yes, like Opie did at AAF. Talk like that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the, a Manhattan plastic surgeon has been busted for molesting a patient who asked him to remove a scar from her lip. Medical school, medical school. This actually gets better. The woman told cops Smith was examining her her lip, when he suddenly lifted her sweater and began fondling her breasts. The woman also claimed Smith tried to remove her pants <laughs> and thrust his body against hers. I was protecting her. There was a creature coming toward the Jupiter too. Wow. What a My gyration scared him away. What a horn dog, man. That guy just couldn't take it. He just lost his mind. He couldn't. It. Little Jimmy doesn't do that. No, especially not with pants. A skirt you can just lift up and right. jump on, but how do you unbutton and unzip pants? What is wrong with this guy? Pants down. He's looking at the lip. All of a sudden, he just pulls her sweater up, starts fondling her boobs, and then yes. tries to rip her pants down. This is a doctor. And me and a friend held a rock over her head, made her give us oral favors. Woo! <laughs> Uh, all right, and then it continues. But in a secretly taped phone call after the incident, Smith told the woman he had a good excuse for the surprise exam. I gave her a choice. Sit on the sticker bushes or let me touch your boobies. <laughs> she opted for the sticker bushes. <laughs> His excuse? He wanted to see if she had enough sensation for him to give her a tummy tuck if she wished it. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. You might have to give her a tummy tuck, so rip her pants off and start humping her like a monkey. <laughs> what an animal! That's great. You know, that is just some guy who couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, you know, you gotta, you gotta sympathize with the guy. Sometimes you just look and go, "I gotta touch that. <laughs> I gotta touch that." And I don't know what steps in that keeps you from doing it, but somehow it didn't step in for him. This story made me laugh all morning because I mean, it just the guy just lost his mind. Yeah. <laughs> Rob bit, Rob, Rob bit, bit.